All right, we are out here at the lake today. We are gonna review and go over our kids boat, the brand new boat that we have. I'm also gonna talk about the trailer we built. I'm gonna go over the things I like about it, the things I don't like about it. I'll just start by saying the boat is a 10 out of 10. There's little annoyances, but that's gonna come with everything and some of it is not the boat's fault. Our lake's going dry, which might be part of the reason. Um, another thing you can see is Hudson's tractor is uh, right there, stuck. My mower is over there, also stuck, so we need to save those. Then we're gonna go up to the farm, look at the boat, talk about the boat, the trailer we have, and everything I want to do to it. Little adjustments I wanna to do to both of them to make them better, and we need some rain. This is getting uh, it's getting sad. We no longer have an island. It's just, it's just a piece of land by mud. So we did this video about a week or so ago. I was hoping maybe the lake would go even lower. It really hasn't. It's still extremely muddy. I pulled it out using the four-wheeler, I just couldn't get it up the hill. Obviously, it's too steep. The problem about this is we made it so much faster, I can't back up. So the easiest way would be for me to back up that way, right? It's not that far, but I literally can't. The back up, it goes like fifth gear. It's way too fast. I'm going to crash. So option one, I try and turn this around somehow. Option two, we keep driving on the bank all the way to the end of the lake, which honestly is probably the better option. So we're going to try that right now and hopefully not get stuck again. Okay, it just keeps getting worse. Now the starter appears to be broken on the mud mower. It's always something, isn't it? It always feels like right when you get things going in your direction, something happens. So now this is broken. I need to try and move this out of the way because my plan was is to take Hudson's tractor, which I really actually need, down this path. This is obviously blocking it now. Um, so let's try and make a little room and not get this like submerged back in the mud maybe. So I was able to save Hudson's tractor and that brings us to our boat and trailer. So let's talk about it. So the trailer is made from us, the boat is not. The boat was purchased, but both of them are actually really good. So the trailer itself, I'll start with that, then we'll get to the really cool boat. The trailer was actually a jet ski trailer and ended up kind of being the size we needed. So we modified it a little bit. We cut the tongue, made it to where we can pull it with Hudson's Jeep which is right over there. So that's how we did that. Other than that, it's really just a trailer. We added new braces right here for the boat, new carpeting. We had to adjust that a little bit. One problem we were encountering when building this also was the prop for the boat kind of hangs down quite a bit. So we had to hang it off towards the back a little more than we wanted to, the boat itself, which, it, which is fine. It's, it's okay, not a big deal. So the trailer, phenomenal, love it. It looks really good. The red goes with the red bottom of the boat. Now, actually one other thing I wanna talk about is the strap so this is what we currently use to just kind of hold down the boat we were trying to use that to pull in the boat you can see this on hudson's playground we actually released this video um, we tried to use that to pull it in doesn't work so we need to find a way where we can utilize the correct way probably have to mount something on the boat where we can actually pull it and that might be enough to also hold it down when we drive hudson really isn't good at driving slow so that's why we have that to kind of just hold it down but now we get to the boat itself honestly there's really not much complaints. It's minor stuff. My kids are pretty rough on things. Um, I will say we probably need to add some sort of handle or something. When they're getting in and out of the boat, we don't have like a traditional dock where you kind of get into the side. Um, so they were stepping on the front. There's not really anywhere for them to grab. So they're grabbing this when it's pretty flimsy. They were also grabbing the steering wheel and they kind of bent that a little bit. You can see maybe if I see, see how there's a little wobble to it. So I got to adjust that too. That's nothing major. We'll get there. Um, so maybe a handle on the front I want to do. The back, it's just a trolling motor. So that's all this is. It's just a battery powered trolling motor. I'll show you how it turns on too, it's pretty cool. So there's a red key that goes in here, just like so. You put it in, you turn it, and then you got your throttle down here. So we're now going in forward. As you can see, look at that boy spin. You can, you can kind of see it. Um, it's got about three speeds, three forward, three reverse. Pretty handy, not gonna lie, I love it. I love the electric, it's really cool. It also has a pump if it somehow gets water. If you pull this, it kind of looks like a choke. Pull that out and it'll start shooting out the water on the back. It does fit both kids as you can see in the video. Also, it could hold me. I also, if you watch the video, you'll see I got in the boat and was able to go around relatively fine, no problems. Honestly, it could probably hold more weight than just myself. Uh, the problem is it kind of only has enough room for one adult to sit in there. Hudson and the kids wanted to ride with me. Maybe we can make it work. The problem is, is like if I sit on the edge, the boat might want to teeter because they don't have enough weight on the opposite side to counteract it. But for the most part, it does really good. It's faster than I was expecting for a trolling motor, probably because the boat is relatively small. It probably weighs, I don't know, maybe 180-ish pounds with most of that weight being in the rear. 
Uh, so it's a nice little boat, kids love it. The problem is when we put it into the water, we don't have a traditional boat ramp, it's kind of muddy. Uh, so the trailer ended up getting stuck, the kids Jeep couldn't pull it out, we had to pull it back out. Uh, I wanna create an actual boat ramp for it, except our water of our lake, it varies so much, it's kind of pointless, so we're gonna have to just deal with the mud for now. But for the most part, I love the boat, I highly recommend it, it's really cool. Um, 10 out of 10, we're gonna make some minor adjustments to it to make it even better for us. Um, I'm gonna eventually actually build something on the back. We're gonna try to like pull a kid on a tube or on maybe like a knee board or a wake board, see if we could do that. It might not have the power for that, but the kids will at least have fun. So very soon, more stuff with this, more building, modify the trailer and uh, a baler soon. Thanks for watching.